I can't think of a more quintessential summer dessert than strawberry shortcake. You have the delicious, ripe, juicy strawberries, the light, airy whipped cream, and then the crumbly texture of the shortbread cake. It's just delicious and very, very much a summer memory for me. One of the quintessential things about the shortcake recipe is the texture of the cake. It's crumbly, it's like a biscuit, and you achieve that texture by cutting in cold pieces of butter to the flour mixture. And when you pop that batter into the oven, the heat from the oven causes the butter to release all of this steam, and you get this crumbly texture, it puffs up, it turns golden, and it's absolutely delicious. As is common with mini cake recipes, you separate your dry ingredients from your wet ingredients, you cut in the butter to the dry ingredients, which again gives you that crumbly texture, and then you can just real quickly stir in the wet ingredients. You don't want to overmix the cake. That's again why this recipe is so great. It's straightforward. You don't want to develop that gluten in the flour, that way you get that crumbly, fall apart texture. So growing up, my dad had a, a small garden plot on the side of the house that was dedicated to growing strawberries, and we never got a lot of strawberries from that little garden patch but I do remember impatiently waiting for the strawberries to bloom and then for the strawberries to grow and to ripen. I was very impatient for these little tiny strawberries that we used to get. I remember the first time I went to a farmer's market and having a genuinely ripe strawberry that was still warm. It was still warm from this being out in the sun. It was juicy, it was sweet, and I try to duplicate that same flavor when I look for strawberries in the store. So I look for strawberries that are red through and through, no whites if possible. If there's any white left on the strawberry, you know that they're just not ripe yet. And a ripe strawberry will be at its sweetest when it's red all around. I love whipped cream. I could eat it by itself. I don't need anything else but my fingers straight out of the mixing bowl but it's light, it's airy, with adding a little bit of powdered sugar and vanilla, you just bring out the natural sweetness in the heavy cream. I like to watch my whipped cream like a hawk, and when it's almost done, I'll turn off my mixer and finish whisking it by hand, that way I make sure I don't overmix the whipped cream. And you know the whipped cream is done when you lift your whisk and there's little tiny cheeks that hold their form when you've moved the whisk away. <laughs> So if this cake wasn't rich and decadent enough, you slice the shortbread cake in half and you smear a little bit of butter on that bottom layer. And not only is it delicious because you get that butter flavor, but you also help to keep the bottom layer from getting soggy because of that butter creates a barrier between your fresh sliced strawberries and the shortbread cake. I love this best strawberry shortcake recipe because it's the perfect serving for two people. Actually, if I'm being truthful, I could <laughs> eat the whole thing myself. But it can also serve a small family of four, too, if you're gonna be a little bit more modest. I, however, am not modest. I love to pile on the whipped cream, love to pile on those fresh strawberries, and it even gets a smear of butter in between, so you're just gilding the lily. 